already and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Now, if you've spent any time on Pinterest, you've probably seen a lot of recipes for mug cakes. It's an excellent way to make a single serve dessert and they are so tasty and easy too. But today I'm not making dessert, I'm making breakfast. This is perfect for the mom on the go or anyone who wants a quick breakfast in the morning. Now I'm kicking things off with a delicious French toast. Now this French toast looks a lot like bread pudding, but it tastes exactly like French toast. It is so good. I'm using a ciabatta roll. You can use any bread that you want and you wanna make sure that you're using a mug that is microwave safe. And that's true for all of these recipes. So I'm gonna go ahead and cube up my bread. You could use regular bread, but I really like the ciabatta. It's really nice and chewy. I'm going to start by adding about a teaspoon of butter to the bottom of my mug. I'm gonna stick it in my microwave for about 10 seconds or until it's melted. Next, I'm going to add in all of my bread cubes. And you want a good amount of bread cubes, a little bit more than your cup will hold. But don't worry, it will totally squish down later. So once I have all of my bread in there, I'm gonna set that aside and prepare my egg mixture. For this, I'm adding one whole egg to a mixing cup. I'm also adding three tablespoons of milk, followed by a few shakes of cinnamon. I love cinnamon in my French toast, it is so good. And then I'm gonna add just one drop of vanilla. I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this all together. And then I'm gonna very slowly pour it all over the bread, trying to get some on every single piece. The next part gets a little bit messy. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and squish the bread down into the egg mixture, just to make sure it's all absorbed. Now I'm going to stick this in the microwave for 60 seconds, and then I'm going to check it. So I definitely wanna make sure that this is all the way done, so I'd like to take my spoon and sort of check the sides. So I'm looking for any raw egg, and I'm not seeing any, but I am gonna go ahead and stick this in the microwave for 15 more seconds, just to be sure. And there you have it, it is smelling so good. All of the egg is absorbed and it's fully cooked. Now you could totally eat this right out of the mug or turn it onto a plate, it's up to you. And you can garnish this however you like. I like to add a little bit of maple syrup and maybe a few more shakes of cinnamon. This is really yummy French toast. It's nice and chewy and just a little bit sweet, not too much. My next breakfast is inspired by huevos rancheros, although these are not authentic at all. But that's okay, it's still gonna taste good. I'm gonna add one egg and two egg yolks to my mixing bowl, and then I'm gonna add three tablespoons of milk. And anytime you're microwaving eggs, if you add milk, it's gonna make sure that the eggs are light and fluffy and not weird and rubbery. To this, I'm gonna add about three shakes of Cholula hot sauce. That's what I like, but if you don't like hot sauce, you don't have to put it in there at all. You could substitute for salsa though, if you'd like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this all up. Now for this mug dish, I'm cheating a little bit because I'm actually going to be cooking it in a bowl, and you'll see why later. But before I stick it in the bowl, I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese. This is pepper jack cheese. But again, you could totally use Monterey Jack or even mozzarella if you'd like. So I'm actually gonna be using a bowl instead of a mug for this one because it's a little bit larger. And you wanna make sure if you're using a bowl that it's microwave safe. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one corn tortilla and stick it down inside my bowl. Next, I'm gonna add my egg mixture, followed by some salt and pepper, and one more sprinkling of pepper jack cheese. And then this one's gonna take a little bit longer in the microwave. For me, it took about two and a half minutes. You definitely want to check it through the cooking process. So here's what it'll look like when it's not fully cooked. It's still liquidy in the center. So I stuck it in for 30 more seconds and then it's perfect. I'm going to top this with some more cheese and some more hot sauce. If I had cilantro, that would be good or green onions, but I'm just going to go with this today. Mm, this is so good, you guys. I love the corn tortilla in there. It definitely gets a little bit chewy in the microwave, but it's delicious. Coming up next, I'm gonna be making a blueberry muffin in my mug. I'm going to start by adding about one teaspoon of coconut oil to the bottom of my mug. If you don't wanna use coconut oil, you could use butter. Next, I'm going to add about half a cup of pancake mix. And this is the kind where you just have to add water, so it's gonna be really simple. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and scoop that into there. And then I'm just gonna add enough water until I get the right consistency. You don't want it to be lumpy, but you also don't want it to be runny. And I just like to add a little bit of water at a time. That way I don't end up with too much. And that is a good consistency right there. Now this pancake mix doesn't have any sweetener in there, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of maple syrup. And now it's time for the blueberries. I'm literally just going to drop them right into the mug. And you don't even have to mix them up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in my microwave for 60 seconds. Now after 60 seconds, you can tell that it's still wet on top. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it back in my microwave for another 30 seconds, and then it is done. You can see the blueberries have exploded in there. This smells exactly like a blueberry muffin. Yum. I hope you guys love it. And last but not least, I have an omelet to share with you guys, but not just any omelet. I'm making a pizza omelet. I love pizza and I love it in this dish. So I'm gonna start by adding one teaspoon of butter to the bottom of my mug, and then I'm gonna chop up my veggies. I'm gonna add half a mushroom and just a tiny bit of pepper. You don't want too much in here. I'm gonna stick my butter in the microwave for about 10 seconds or until it is melted. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add my mushrooms and my peppers to my mug. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper and mix it around. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the microwave for 30 seconds so that these can become softened. In a separate container, I'm gonna add two eggs, three tablespoons of milk, a shake or two of Italian seasoning, a little bit of mozzarella cheese, this is a pizza after all, and I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this up. And just like that, our mushrooms and our peppers are nice and tender. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the egg mixture to them and mix them all up. And then I'm gonna throw in some pepperoni. I really like to use turkey pepperoni for this because it's not as greasy as the regular stuff. I am gonna go ahead and slice these up a little bit smaller though. I'm gonna add these to my mug. Now it's time to whisk it, followed by a little bit of cheese and stick it in the microwave. I'm gonna start at 60 seconds, but you know some microwaves are different, so you might have to cook yours a little bit longer or not as long, depending on what kind you have. But believe me, you're gonna be able to tell if it's not cooked all the way, and if it is, just put it in for a little bit longer. It's no big deal. And would you look at all that cheese in there with the veggies, it does smell just like pizza. And all of these mugs are very tasty, but I'd have to say this is probably my favorite. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried making any recipes in a mug in a microwave and let me know how it went. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.